Welcome to Learn Law Better. Have you ever left class wondering what your professor was talking about? Are you having problems understanding some concept? Stay to the end and learn how to use the Feynman technique, which will help you learn material faster and at a level where you will remember the concept for years to come. Hi, this is Bo Bai. And today I want to talk to you about a technique developed by Professor Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize winning physicist who had the nickname The Great Explainer. By following four steps, you will learn a topic well enough to remember it on the final exam and for the bar exam. Step one, write the name of the concept you want to learn at the top of a page. As the semester progresses, come back to the document every time you need to add more knowledge related to that topic. For example, if you're having problems understanding proximate cause, write that down. You might start off with the unforeseeable manner of injury and then later in the semester, come back to the unforeseeable intervening event. Step two, pretend you are teaching the topic to someone else, preferably a high school student. This means that you have to make it simple enough for them to understand, including word choice and sentence structure. All too often, a law student will copy a rule verbatim from a case. Now, while the rule may be accurate, are you really going to remember that language from yesteryear? For example, when you take business associations, you will likely read Benjamin Cardozo's classic case, Meinhard vs. Salmon. Your professor will certainly focus on these words for establishing the standard of care. Joint adventurers, like co-partners, owe to one another, while the enterprise continues, the duty of the finest loyalty. Many forms of conduct permissible in a workaday world for those acting at arm's length are forbidden to those bound by fiduciary ties. A trustee is held to something stricter than the morals of the marketplace, not honesty alone, but the punctilio of an honor the most sensitive is then the standard of behavior. That is some of the best legal prose I know of, but do you really understand what Cardozo is saying? Let's take that language and make it simpler. Teach it to that high school student. Partners owe to each other the highest standard of behavior. And there you have it, folks. A long phrase converted into 10 simple words. When you are working on this step, make sure to make the explanation as simple and as brief as possible. Step three. When you get stuck or are shaky on one of the concepts, go back and study some more. This means looking at your books, doing more research, talking to your professor. If you have multiple choice questions, work through those as well. Remember, if you can't teach the material to a high schooler, you don't know it well enough. Step four, go back to step one and repeat the process. In other words, the Feynman technique is about the process, not the end product. This is because we all understand material better when we teach it. I understood torts at a much deeper level when I taught it, and so will you. If you see a technical term, try to simplify it. Will that high school student really understand consideration by estoppel or negligence per se? As you simplify the concept, you will begin to understand the material in a much deeper way that will help you not only remember it on the exam, but will also help you with issue spotting and multiple choice bar exam questions. If you'd like to see more episodes that can help you succeed, hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out learnlawbetter.com where you'll find more resources to help you get ahead, including my blog, newsletter, and exam bank. Thank you for watching.